Hey everybody, welcome. Meg UMD, functional and holistic medicine physician and owner of Transform. Today we are in the midst of um, 10 day water challenge and some of you are watching this and it's not during the water challenge, but today we're actually gonna do a huge training on 10 amazingly fun ways um, to get collagen into your diet. Um, and I'm gonna answer some questions about collagen and I'm gonna actually show you how I get my water and collagen and I use water as the carrier to get some really high quality collagen uh, into my body every single day. And to start off with, um, if any of you haven't registered yet to join the water challenge, go ahead and take a look at the link up on top and register to join the 10 day water challenge and you'll get this beautiful guide with also tons of training about collagen and it even has my recipe for my bone broth, okay? So any of you that want my bone broth recipe, you can go in there and register for a challenge and you'll get it. Um, other people, you will also get it in your email. If you've registered before for the earlier for the water challenge, you should have gotten that in email yesterday, my bone broth recipe. But um, a lot of questions around collagen and what are the things I do to actually get collagen in. So first of all, why is collagen important? Um, I just wanna talk about it. Um, we have Pro Collagen WB, which we're gonna talk about today. Uh, first of all, why is collagen important? Collagen is really important because uh, somebody asked, I think Jenny uh, B asked, um, what, what's the role of collagen in gut and gut healing? And I wanna actually teach mechanism. I'm all about science and data, and that's why for me it's important to teach people the why, then the how becomes easy if you know the why, right? So if you think about collagen, collagen is what we call a hydrophilic protein molecule. Hydrophilic means it loves water. So it'll take the water molecules all around it, and that, the protein molecule of the collagen with the water goes into your cells and is absorbed super quick. So it increases the water absorption, and water increases the collagen protein absorption as well, they help each other, so they're best buddies. Which is why I'm talking about how water is the best carrier for collagen. And now, collagen is a really important piece of the, um, uh, of the uh, mucosal cells in the lining of your gut. Those mucosal cells that line your gut, they're connective tissue cells, okay? And they require collagen to actually like as a, pro, as a protein energy source, they can also use collagen to coat as a coater on the gut, and it also helps create energy in those cells to heal. So one of the biggest, for any of you dealing with gut issues, any of you have kids dealing with gut issues, the biggest power punch that you can actually give um, for, uh, is actually some collagen. And there's so many ways to use collagen for that. Now, collagen pr uh, provide, provides energy, and it has actually been clinically shown, especially we're talking about Pro Collagen WB, why this collagen? Because there's three kinds of collagen in it. And for me, data is really important. Uh, you get what you pay for. And uh, if you are gonna take collagen anyway, uh, why not take one that has three types of collagen in there that's clinically proven with data to help hair, skin, nails, bone health, um, and uh, gut healing, right? So you want data behind it, which is why I, I'm gonna use collagen anyway, I'm gonna use a data-backed one, and which is why I use Pro Collagen WB. Now, um, the other thing about it is, is that you want a collagen that tastes, like doesn't have a taste, doesn't have a texture. So you can actually literally put it into anything hot or cold, and you don't even know it's there. So it's a really sneaky way to get some gut healing into your daily routine and into your kid's daily routine uh, or older adults without them even knowing, okay? So it's, it's really easy. Um, collagen is really great, by the way, for autoimmune disease in terms of it's from collagen, which is joint, okay, of grass-fed cows. And that means that a lot of us, no matter what autoimmune disease diagnosis you have, a lot of us, regardless, will have joint pain. Um, even if you have Hashimoto's, which is autoimmune disease of the thyroid, you have joint pain, okay? Because there are many other targets of autoimmune attack. Awesome. So any of you that are watching right now, if you can just tell me where you're watching from and tell me where you are in the water challenge and what ahas you already had, I'd be thrilled. Thank you, Amy. Um, I'd love to see some comments. I'd hate talking to myself. I love it being interactive. So help me not talk to myself. Let me know you're there, okay? Give me some love. Um, now, um, so collagen is important because it is a component in your joints. So it actually helps actively healing cells and inflammation in your joints heal by giving the crucial ingredient it needs to heal, collagen, okay? Um, the other thing is, it's also, by calming the gut, the mucosal cells of the gut, 
um, and helping them heal. You decrease inflammation, okay? So I don't know how many people now in our program have told me that using Golden Balance, which is our golden milk, um, that has collagen in it, okay? We just had, uh, there's some comments already in the, um, in the group, people who are already using our um, Golden Balance. It has our collagen in it, but um, it's nice. That's another way I sneak collagen in is to put it in some of our other products as well. But um, it decreases, when you actually heal the gut lining, you actually decrease the biggest place, one of the biggest place where inflammation starts, okay? So it's, um, it's really helpful when you actually heal the gut to have decreased inflammation everywhere else in your body. So is collagen great for pain? Hell yes, and yes, and yes. And do you need to have a joint diagnosis like rheumatoid arthritis or ankylosing spondylitis to actually benefit from collagen for your joints? Hell no. And the reason is, regardless of what autoimmune disease you have, this is something I teach all the time, okay? Listen, take notes on this one. This is a really important point, everybody. Okay, uh, if your immune system already mistakes one part of your body as a germ, let's say in rheumatoid arthritis, your joint, what's the likelihood it's gonna mistake many other parts of your body as a germ, like your hormone-making organs, your saliva glands, your skin? Um, 100%. So nobody just has one autoimmune disease and one autoimmune target. We have hundreds, which is why it's really important to stop the whole process so you help every target at once and you stop playing whack-a-mole, right? So um, for me, it's really important um, to understand that every one of us with autoimmunity have gut issues and have most of us have joint issues. So can anyone with autoimmunity or even without autoimmunity, can young kids with a growing gut and brain use collagen? The answer is hell yes. Okay, so uh, I'm loving all these um, wins coming in. People are talking about where they are in the water challenge. I love that. Um, so let me know. Keep keep going. I want to hear where you're at with this. Thank you, Amy. Day six. I love it. Um, awesome. Sandy, day six as well. All right, we got a lot of day sixers. Um, all right, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna actually jump in now and just you know, I don't have dude here helping me. So I'm just gonna show you guys at least 10 ways with which I incorporate our collagen into my life to make it stupidly simple and easy to get the collagen in. And I can tell you right now, me personally, hair, skin, and nails huge. My hair did not always look this healthy. My skin did not always look this healthy. In fact, I used to have really dark skin and really uh, redness, a lot of redness and a lot of darkness under my skin. And nails were always breaking, okay? and. Don't even talk to me about joint pain. I've had two neck surgeries. Um, so it's been, chronic pain is something I, deal, I used to deal with all the time. And collagen is just a regular part of my routine right there with water. When I think water, I think collagen. And here's many different ways today I'm gonna show you of how to use water as a carrier to get this collagen in. And I get a little bit creative with it. First of all, a lot of people want to, we're talking about straight water and I don't like to make water complicated. Seriously, just get filtered water from your house. Um, and I buy one of these infusers, okay? And you, some people have bottles that infuse. Uh, I love flavored water, natural ingredients, right? So in this one, I ginger everything. I ginger everything, okay? Um, so you see there's some sliced ginger here and some cucumber. This is, um, ginger is amazing to help liver detox. It's also antimicrobial and antiviral, okay? And cucumbers is wonderful as hydration. It tastes great and it's, it's a vegetable and it's got fiber in there as well when you eat cucumbers, but infused, it's delicious. This is for me, my ginger lemon infused summer cooler. Uh, if you like lemon in it, you can also put lemon in it, okay? Now, how do you incorporate collagen into infused water? Really simple, okay? You take your dang water bottle, and I already put ice cubes in it, okay? And all I do is, and I'm gonna turn this down so you guys can see, okay? So you see, there's already some ice water in there. So uh, what I do is I fill a little bit with ice and water, and then I take one scoop of this collagen. Our pro collagen has about, it's about 11 grams of protein. That's like equivalent to a little bit more than an egg worth of protein. Put it right in there, okay? And then I just finish filling it. give it a shake. I feel like I'm on that, I'm dating myself, but I feel like I'm on that movie cocktail, you know, with Tom Cruise. <laughs> give it a good shake. And you got infused water that has 11 grams of collagen in it. No taste, except for the delicious ginger 
and cucumber. If you like strawberries, if you like, mm, sometimes I'll do strawberries, um, if you like limes, if anything, I mean, cilantro, it sounds weird, but I love cilantro and cucumber as a mix, um, or mint and cucumber. Um, you can make infused water, it has the collagen in it. So remember, when you guys go back and watch my habits video about water, if the first thing you drink in the morning, imagine, is this ice cold water or warm water. These containers hold warm water. Uh, and it's infused with the ginger in there. And for me, ginger and cilantro are the biggest detox and liver wake uppers. Imagine me sitting here out of bed in the morning like, <sighs> that is a big sip and a big jug of I freaking love myself. I love my gut and my gut is absorbing it like crazy and helping my gut heal first thing in the morning. Okay, and I get a protein hit first thing in the morning, 10, 10 milligrams, which is awesome. One of the things in our main program, Transform Autoimmune, is blood sugar mastery, which is stable blood sugars throughout the day down pat. And I talk about grounding, uh, bookending the day, and meaning before in the morning and before bed, it's really important. And one of the concepts I talk about is using your dang water to start the protein first thing in the morning. I love that, okay? Uh, Amy's saying, I have tons of cantaloupe. What can I do with all that? Use it to infuse your water, man. Um, go, you can use cantaloupe. You can put watermelon in infused water. So this is just another way. Now, I do want to talk really quickly is if you like a little sweetness in your water, I get an organic liquid stevia. You can put a couple drops in there if you like it's a little bit sweeter without adding sugar. That would be a great way to do it. Um, it's just, just, uh, that's just one additional way if you like it a little bit sweet. So that's cold, right? So I want to talk a little bit about warm what are some things that you can do with pro collagen wb in hot like some people really like hot beverages i'm one of them and i'm just gonna have you guys look down here so here you know we talk about coffee and i say if you're gonna drink uh, and you guys know this from the water challenge if you're gonna drink coffee you're gonna have to add an equal amount of water for that this is a cup of chicory coffee so you could actually make um, non-caffeinated coffee that's not coffee with chicory so chicory is a great prebiotic and um, which feeds the good bacteria in your gut, tastes really good. And on top of it, um, you can easily, and you could do this with coffee, you could do a chicka curry coffee, you could do it with some of the even darker roast dandelion tea that I've talked about in other videos. Really simple is you take the coffee and you put a scoop of collagen in it. And I get one of these blenders. This is like literally eight bucks on Amazon, okay? And. In your coffee, it's kind of foamy now. In the hot beverage, it gets kind of a little bit creamy and foamy. So, mm, delicious, right? So, um, chicory coffee, dark roast teas, uh, you can do uh, just put the collagen straight in there. Um, which brings me to the point do you like your chicory coffee or tea with some creamer? How about some collagen infused creamer? Okay. Now, I know other brands have made collagen infused creamer, creamer that cost uh, a lot of money, and I wanna show you something. Uh, I've bought this and tried it as well. Look at how gritty and grainy that shit is, okay? This does not end up creamy in your coffee. I don't use this. This is why this has been sitting on my shelf for like um, a year or two. So I wanna show you a quick way to make your own collagen creamer cheap with the highest quality collagen in it, and it's creamy as hell. I would say another word than hell, but I'm on camera right now. Anyway, so I have container here just of, um, I use, I, lo I love oat milk. You could use coconut milk, you could use coconut cream. Um, whatever your non-dairy alternative milk is, if you are you can eat dairy, that's, that's up to you. For me, I have some oat milk in here, but you could use coconut as well, okay? And all I do is I have a, a container in it, okay? And what I do is I put about, in, if this was full, like I put about two scoops in a pint, okay? So if this was full, I would say, well, let's just make it a little full. Let's put a little oat milk in there, okay, cool. This is on the fly. This is Maggie Eve, the real foodie, doing this for reals. This was not rehearsed or staged. Okay, so let's say this is about a pint, okay, of oat milk. I put in about two scoops of collagen. So right here, one, two, Okay, and you know I'm all about the cocktail and shaking. Shake, 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 sh
you have collagen creamer. Instead of spending 10, 15 bucks on this thing, I made this for less than probably a dollar or two, okay? And you got your own creamy collagen uh, creamer. And I just go ahead and pour it into my coffee. Check that out, man. There you go. Pour some creamer right in there. Easy. How much easier does it get than collagen creamer to add collagen to your um, any of your hot beverages, right? Was that a good tip? Tell, give me some love here. If this was good tip, helpful, uh, let me know in the comment section. Mm. And, you know, honestly, I do love this whole stevia uh, drop thing. I use honey as well a lot. There are benefits of honey. Uh, but if you want it a little bit sweet, I just put a couple of drops in there, you're good. No sugar, right? That's really good. Now, there were some requests um, for people to see how I make my matcha. And I, I'm just showing a very simplified way of using, making literally a uh, green tea collagen powerhouse booyah. Um, why green tea is so amazing, I've, I've, I've made other videos on this, uh, but it's an integral part of our hormone program and our autoimmune program. Our hormone program, my hormone masterclass, I talk about green tea, green tea all the time. And in our autoimmune program, I talk about green tea, green tea, green tea all the time. So drinking green tea is really incredible. And I definitely like using matcha, which is the powdered green tea. Uh, and uh, because it is a concentrated form of green tea and you can make a matcha latte that's delicious with uh, a matcha powder, which is gonna be much more of a medicinal use and deliciousness and concentrated goodness than just drinking a tea out of a tea bag. You can definitely drink green tea out of a tea bag, but at least once every other day, I'm gonna make myself a green tea latte, okay? And I, in the past, have used a foamer, but I wanted to show you guys just a non-foamer way of doing this to make it really easy, okay? So not rehearsed, guys, uh, but green tea, total powerhouse in balancing hormones, especially PCOS. Uh, it helps with estrogen dominance as well. And um, green tea is great as an antioxidant. It really wakes up your liver to detox your body. Really anti-inflammatory. So I can't even say enough good things about it. So here's a cup right here. And what I would do is take it, I would put about, um, and right here, just get an organic matcha, okay? And I would do about, I like it kind of concentrate. So like about three quarters of a teaspoon right there. Okay, put it right in the cup. And because it's powdery, you want one of these mixers, okay? These little, they call it tea uh, frothers. And you just pour the hot water in and you blend. See that? Okay. And I personally like it with, um, like half of it is water. And I like half of it uh, with uh, warm milk, coconut milk or cream in it. Um, and so before I do the warm milk or cream in it, I'm gonna put my collagen in it. So think about this, not this whole green tea thing is like a cup of I love you to my liver, which is incredible for blood sugar balancing. And when you love your liver, you love your hormones and you love hormone balancing. Now, throw some collagen in it so then it's crazy absorbed in through your gut and it's crazy in gut healing as well. Then you got a crazy powerhouse here, okay? So see that, I poured the collagen in and I'm just gonna blend it. Easy peasy lemon easy. Okay, and then you pour in your warm milk of whatever milk you like. Okay, that's it. That's it, okay? Now, when you don't overthink the brand of matcha, this one happens to be called Tiki Hut. I have used um, a brand called Matcha DNA now, here's the thing, when you shop for uh, green tea, okay? Very important when you buy matcha, don't buy the crazy ass expensive one because they're ceremonial grade matcha, which is like 20 to $100 an ounce. You wanna buy something that's around the five to $10 range for like a, a size that's at least uh, six ounces. But it's gotta be organic, get organic, okay? If you wanna get decaf, you can get decaf too, somebody's asking that, all right? Um, but uh, I would definitely um, get, or both of these are organic green tea matchos. Um, and the brand is not important, just make sure it's organic. 
um, matcha and you're not spending over $20 for a bag that's a, you know, this is for how many ounces? I think this is like a four ounce for like seven bucks, okay? So don't get the ceremonial grade unless you're actually doing Japanese tea ceremonies, which we're not here, <laughs> okay? Um, how many of you are finding this green tea matcha help tip helpful? And green tea can be sometimes a little bit bitter. So I definitely would squirt a little stevia right in it. Wow, that is so good. Um, and it and green tea, by the way, um, if you're trying to lose weight, you're looking watching your blood sugar, you're trying to curb your cravings for sugar. Green tea is one that I, in the water challenge I count as water because man, even though there's some caffeine in green tea, is very very low. Number one, and number two is the herbal benefits and medicinal benefits in green tea, crazy ass. And then you throw collagen in it. Let's not even go there. This is an incredible powerhouse drink. This is a hot drink in the morning or in the afternoon. That's like, a, I love myself big time, okay? So talk about a 10 for one, right? Was this tip helpful, okay? If this is useless information and nobody is finding value out of this, I will end this right now. So tell me if you're learning something fun, um, fun or valuable with this, okay? Um, now, there was, I wanted to answer, um, the other thing is, is that I want to talk about the other way for you to get uh, collagen in is through a bone broth. And make sure you register for a water challenge or and check your emails because we I have my bone broth recipe in there. So the other thing I do with bone broth is I drink it for breakfast. I will, and you can even put it in one of these containers and have it next to your bed and sip bone broth in the morning. And bone broth, especially if you use chicken feet, um, which is a ton of collagen, uh, any bones. Uh, I save bones from the family and I make bone broth in there. I make bone broth once or twice a week, easy, instant pot. Uh, and there's a regular version and there's an instant pot version on this. So make sure you check your emails and register for the challenge. But anyway, uh, bone broth is already a uh, collagen powerhouse, but you know what I do? I actually kick it up a notch. I will put one scoop of the collagen into like, I will take a bowl like this in the morning. Like I will warm it over the stove and I will just put one scoop in this bowl and drink it. And so not only does it have natural collagen in there, but then I boost up the collagen content and just sip my soup. I love my soup first thing in the morning. So that's another way of, um, and who said you can't have soup for breakfast? That's the other thing. Why is breakfast food for breakfast and dinner food for dinner for dinner? Uh, it's, uh, to me, I actually eat dinner leftovers in the morning all the time. I drink soup a lot because it's a great carrier. You have water in there. And then I love um, making your own bone broth as a carrier of collagen and all these trace minerals that are wonderful, okay? Um, Betker says, love new healthy ideas and recipes. Thank you. Yeah, and so, so to me, like, this is really a stupidly simple way to get a ton of collagen in that are fun and delicious, right? I mean, who would have thought, like, uh, creamer, right? Uh, collagen creamer. Don't spend 20 bucks buying this thing that's gonna be gritty and grainy and taste like shit. Uh, make your own with any milk of your choice by putting two scoops of this collagen in there. And I like this particular collagen because it has three, the three forms of collagen peptide that actually absorbs really easily and has clinical data to actually show that it does shit like hair, skin, nails, and gut, okay? So um, use something that's data back that has data to show that it works um, is my motto if you're gonna use uh, collagen anyway uh, or any product for that matter. Data is really important to support its use. So um, I hope that was super helpful. Was there anything else? Soup. Did I miss anything? Oh, there was a couple questions that I missed. Um, Cassandra O asked, um, how many scoops a day do you wanna aim for? Uh, I think about one or two scoops every day would be a great amount for to help with your, um, uh, to the gut healing, if you're thinking about gut, uh, bones, uh, pain, I think one or two scoops a day is great. Now, for people who are very malnourished, a lot of people with autoimmunity don't even absorb their food and protein really well, you can use more, right? Um, so I have people who, I didn't even talk about this, but you can use this to make your own smoothies. So a lot of um, protein powders taste like shit. Uh, none of our proteins powder tastes like shit. Uh, in fact, they taste great. But uh, for a really simple, tasteless protein powder, use this. I just throw it in and make my smoothies. Um, so that's the other, that's the, um, that's what I do is I, uh, the other way is to just get in smoothies. You can definitely use more. So if you're an individual who has trouble trying to gain weight 
or get absorption, you have a lot of um, malabsorption problems, you may want to use three or four scoops a day to get some quality protein in. And we have, um, we have uh, people in our program right now, Jessica right now, um, who was talking about being very, very malnourished. And even if she ate regularly, she couldn't gain weight. Um, well, because there's absorption problems, right? So that's why, um, that's why, um, using um, collagen is really an incredible way to give, make sure you actually get quality protein in and you're actually healing the gut lining, the gut to absorb it, okay? Um, another, so I would say that generally, I always get one to two scoops in, but if you're malnourished and you're trying to get more protein in, I would go for 34 scoops a day, easy, okay? Um, another question someone asks is uh, about our Golden Balance, which is our most uh, sold item in the store and most rebought item because it is crazy ass in balancing hormones. And it does have collagen, our uh, grass-fed collagen in it as, as well. And somebody asked the question is, can it be mixed in hot or cold beverages? You can do both actually. Uh, if you're gonna do cold, definitely use one of those foamers and just do it. I, what I do is I almost think about it like if you're gonna use it cold, I think about it like iced coffee. So make it with some hot water in a small amount, blend it, and then go ahead and put it over ice. That's what I would do. Uh, sometimes um, for if I didn't snack before bed, I, would, I always do this before bed, right, Golden Balance. It has the collagen in it already, but I will add an extra scoop of collagen to it if I didn't eat a big dinner, and that will also additionally help stabilize my blood sugar throughout the night. I sleep like a baby, and I balance my hormones all night long. That's a killer uh, tip. Easter egg right there, okay? Um, now, another question. Somebody asked about mixed connective tissue disorder, scleroderma. There's just this whole myth of people with mixed connective tissue disorder or scleroderma who says, I can't eat collagen. This is not true. This is BS. This is not true. So if you think about all the family of mixed connective tissue disorder, um, basically there is something, some component in the human mixed connective tissue that's under an autoimmune attack. There could be literally thousands of targets in there that um, different people have. And it's not like everybody with scleroderma or everybody with mixed connective tissue have the same targets, right? Again, it could be towards an enzyme in something. It could be against, um, you know, any, any component of connective tissue. And that doesn't mean that you, that this is a, um, that you can't eat collagen because again, this is against a specific pretty small target somewhere, one of thousands in your connective tissue. And so eating collagen, if anything, something for you to understand is that muco mucus lining cells in your gut are actually um, connective tissue cells and they're really broken down and they need repair and they need energy to heal. If anything, people mix connective tissue disorder or scleroderma have really poor gut health and they actually really need high quality protein like collagen to absorb in. You're not allergic or attacking the collagen from a cow, um, clean grass fed cow collagen. So I just wanna put that baby to rest. If anything, to me, people who mix connective tissue scleroderma and this is you know thousands of people through um, working with me in the past on their autoimmunity and through our programs is that um, that is not an issue. Most importantly is, um, our, you know, occasionally somebody could have an allergy, but that's rare. Um, I've seen it twice in my career, um, but the, really the other 999% of the time, um, collagen is extremely well tolerated in all autoimmune diseases, and it's the preferred, one of the preferred forms of protein, especially for people trying to heal their gut. I hope that makes sense. Um, somebody's asking, do I use the collagen and golden product daily? Yes, that's my go-to. And if you have missed, I have a video in the hormone section and Cora can revive it. Um, but I have a whole video on how I use golden balance during our hormone challenge week, um, every single night. This is what I use every single night. And I have clients right now, we just had a call the other day with clients and, and one of our clients just said that using Golden Balance was the first time in like years that she slept through the night. So uh, go watch that video about Golden Balance. I don't wanna um, make this collagen training more complicated or about many things. I really wanna focus on the collagen, but go watch that Golden Balance training I did in the hormone unit um, and see why it's our blood sugar and hormone balancing powerhouse, booyah. So yeah, every night I do the Golden Balance, but I can tell you that I always use this collagen in the morning, uh, whether it's in my water, whether it's in the bone broth, um, bone broth with a scoop of it in the morning, or in a matcha latte, okay? How many more ways can I teach you to get it in? Are you guys gonna get collagen in? Mm-hmm. Oh, so good. My son said to me the other day, uh, 
<laughs> He's like, mom, your reactions are so big. Have you ever thought about being in commercials? <laughs> and I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm in my own. <laughs> the kid cracks me up. I'm sorry, I crack myself up. Um, but I, I, like, I truly love food and I truly love deliciousness in, in a cup. When I tell you that I drink my water in the morning with the collagen and I'm like, it's a big old mug of I love myself, I ain't kidding you, okay? It's really the truth, that's what I do. Um, food is love to me and if any of you knew my mom uh, and the upbringing I have and the role of food played in my family and why like food is such a big part of my healing and how I teach it, um, you'll understand. It's really deeply rooted in my Chinese upbringing and in my family and my mom, just my memory of her. Uh, she passed away from ALS a couple years ago. Um, and I remember every time I love myself with food or I serve food to love other people, it reminds me of her. So my family tradition has a lot to do with why I love food so much. Okay, um, did I answer all the questions? I know that um, there was uh, a question that Chris Brown had um, and Chris B had, and I answered it in another video, but somebody said, do you have to uh, drink hot or cold water? Is drinking ice cold water bad all the time? No, you're fine. Uh, get water in any way you want, hot, cold, lukewarm, it's totally fine. And collagen, this collagen can go, as I already shown you, into ice cold liquids in terms of infused water or just plain old water. You can put it into hot beverages, you can put it into bone broth, you can put it into smoothies, and there you go. And uh, the if you, a lot of people are like, give me the link to get the collagen. It's right up on top, go for it, go. Um, and I'm just gonna, there is an Easter egg about our collagen. So uh, if you check your water challenge guide, there is something special in there about our Pro Collagen WB you wanna go check on, go to it. All right, everybody, I hope that was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed the hell out of the water challenge, and I hope you guys found value out of this video. And if you, um, we are gonna um, be premiering this into our page as well. This currently is in the Facebook group and will be in our program as a bonus video. Uh, we'll be premiering it to the page, but on the page uh, and on Instagram, when we premiere this video, feel free to share it. Tag someone you know that could benefit from learning about the role of collagen, all right? All right, everybody, have a great day.